Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is the border plot. So up to now, we have discussed about the block diagrams and the signal flow graphs and uh, signal flow graphs and uh, what about second order system and the root locus. Okay. Next is the border plot. Border plot is also the uh, one of the important method to analyze the system stability. Okay, so first we discuss what is border plot. So first, what is the purpose of the border plot? Here, board a plot. Plot means plot means we should take a graph. Simply, plot means we should take a graph. Plot means it will give a relation between the some x variable and y variable. That is nothing but the flat. Right. Here, first, what is the purpose? First point. To draw the frequency response of the open loop transfer function okay so from border plot means you have to keep in your mind that is it is frequency response of open loop transfer function same by using the open loop transfer function we will decide closed loop transfer function stability second to find the closed loop stability so these things all are root locus and block diagram all are using the open loop transfer function we will find out the closed loop system stability yes to find the that's why it is the it is closed loop it will give the closed loop system stability next to find the gain margin and the phase margin F to find the gain margin and phase margin so these are the very important terms in case of this border plot so about gain margin and the phase margin of the theory we will discuss very clearly gain margin means how we can tell the gain of the system before become unstable be before lose its stability margin at margin point the gain value is give the gain margin what is the phase margin phase margin also same before losing the system stability what is the phase of the system will give the phase margin that that these two things will be find out by the border plot only fourth to find the relative stability to find the relative stability relative stability means for particular pole or particular zero how the system is acting for particular condition how the system behaves the stability is nothing but the relative stability here largest gain margin and phase margin are more relative stability so if the system have before before become unstable it has the more gain and more phase it has more relative stability relative stability is very high but the system become very slow it is very slow okay yes so the system which consisting of the high values of gain margin and phase margin then it has more relative stability but system is very slow it's acting very slow fifth small values of gain margin and the phase margin make the system less relative stable so it is less relative stable okay stability is less system become more oscillatory okay system become more oscillatory means for example if the system output is like this so it, it it oscillations means the output is very oscillator like this okay. it have more oscillations in order to reach the steady state the system will have to avoid these oscillations okay so sm small gain margin phase margin make the system less relative stability and system become more oscillator okay sixth generally value of the gain margin is 5 to 10 decibels so gain margin value must and should be for any system 5 to 10 decibels here gain margin is measured in the decibels okay phase margin is phase means you know that always in degrees that must and should be 30 to 40 degrees so it is in units or degrees okay this is also important point that is for any system the gain margin is 5 to 10 db okay phase margin is 3 to 40 degrees okay next border plot 
consisting of the two plots we discussed border plot means a plot which will give relation between two variables having the two plots one is the magnitude plot and the another one is the phase plot magnitude plots means which will give the magnitude magnitude variation which represents phase plot means which will give the phase variation for the system so before discussing deeply we have to discuss so what is frequency what is the change of frequency generally this is nothing but the frequency response that means the out, how the output is varied with the frequency the output phase and output magnitude okay here we should use two conditions for the frequency relation first one is the decade second one is the octave decade means the omega 2 equal to 10 omega 1 what is the meaning means the we are using the frequency we have the some frequency the next frequency must be multiplication with 10 multiplication with the 10 so we have the another model that is in octave model in that octave model omega 2 equal to 2 times of omega 1 2 times of omega 1 that is that is uh, we can write omega next next frequency must and should be two times of the last frequency so we have some a frequency the multiplication of with the two will give the next frequency will give the next frequency okay and generally so we these these frequencies must and should be you have to use okay must and should you have to use yeah and we should write two things one is generally by doing the calculation we will get generally 20 lakh base 10 in decade equal to and 20 lakh base 2 in octave both magnitudes are same why we are getting log why we are getting log will be discussed in dbs we have to use the logarithm okay right so we can write 20 lakh base 10 generally this is the base 10 this is the base 2 in decade we have the base 10 and octave we have the base 2 this is the 20 log 10 base 10 value 1 this is the 20 log 10 base 2 values both are same 20 equal to 20 okay so these are the different 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 terms we will involve in the different different terms will involve in the border plot okay so from these points you have to recollect all the points once again the points are here first the border plot means keep in your mind just frequency response and of the open loop transfer function but it will give closed loop stability right and this is useful for finding the gain margin as well as phase margin okay if the gain margin phase margin are more system has more relative stability but system is the slower the gain margin phase margin is low values less relative stable so what is the important thing gain margin is better to have 5 to 10 db 5 to 10 db and here the phase margin is having 3 to 40 degrees gain means generally gain margin means the before become the system stability margin point like phase means 3 to 40 degrees okay so and we initially discussed border plot means name itself it is a plot it has a two plots border plot will give not single plot it consisting of the two plots the first is the magnitude plots the system magnitude will be analyzed in this magnitude plot and second is the phase plot phase plot means system has some phase that phase will be analyzed in this phase plot okay so this is the introduction of the border plot okay so border plot is very important in case of the gain margin and phase margin okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you